All right, how's it going? Uh, in this problem, we're going to try to find the inverse of f of x. So let's solve for the inverse. Uh, the first thing you do is just switch f of x to y. So y is going to be equal to x minus 1 over 2x plus 3. And then uh, we want to isolate uh, just the x by itself. So let's move over the, the, the 2x minus 3. So we're going to do this. So y times 2x plus 3, which is equal to x minus 1. And I got that just by multiplying uh, both sides by 2x plus 3. And now uh, I'm going to factor in the y. I'm going to multiply the y into here and into there, which gives me 2y x plus 3y, which is equal to x minus 1. And now I'm going to take this term and move it over here. And I'm going to take this negative 1 and I'm going to move it over to that side, which gives me 3y plus 1 is equal to x minus 2yx. And now I can uh, factor out the x on the right side. So that's going to equal to x 1 minus 2y. That's going to be equal to 3y plus 1. Let's do a little more space. Um, so now we're just going to bring this over to that side. So then you're going to get x is equal to 3y plus 1 divided by 1 minus 2y. And now we just need to put it back. So at this point, you're pretty much done because you've isolated the x. And you just need to switch the x's to y's and all the y's to x's. So this is going to be y is equal to 3x plus 1 over 1 minus 2x. And now you're almost done. Now you just got the last part to do, which is you're going to change the y to f of x, and you're done. So f of x, actually the inverse of f of x, is equal to 3x plus 1 over 1 minus 2x. And that is, um, that's the inverse. That is the inverse of f of x is equal to x minus 1 divided by 2x plus 3. And there you go.